Welcome to Frontier Red Hawks Football and Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight, the Frontier Red Hawks take the field in search of a postseason berth as they play host to the Athol Red Raiders. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins, Alec Kekel, and Sam Fincher alongside tonight. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. Frontier Red Hawks have a chance tonight to clinch a postseason berth in the Western Mass Division Six playoffs. And they could, and they would if they win tonight, when they share the Intercounty League North Division title. The Red Hawks are in first place tie with East Hampton. And a win at home tonight against the two and five Red Raiders will clinch at least a share of that championship. Here come the East Red Hampton Hawks. hosts Turners tonight. If East Hampton loses that game, and Frontier wins. And Frontier, actually Frontier would either way because Frontier has been defeated East Hampton already. This is an interesting matchup. The 25 Red Raiders kept in playing their best football of the season. They were an 0-4 start, but they have come on. They've won two of their last three, including a big win last week against Greenfield High School. Athol fullback Robbie Nelson for the Red Raiders. had uh, 203 yards with eight Number carries and four touchdowns Mason last week against Barrio. Greenfield. And they ran Number a pretty successful trap Nelson. offense. We will see if and that's successful against Chris Frontier Red Hawks tonight. Frontier back there and everyone over the 1,000-yard mark last Landry, week. Number 29, Steven Worthley. Steve Worthley could join him soon. He is only 156 Carson. yards away from 1,000. He could get that tonight. Landry is averaging over 10 yards per carry, and the two of a combined for 26 touchdowns this season. We will see what the running attack does against the Athol Red Raiders. But again, if they win tonight, Athol will most likely host a game here next Friday, possibly against South Hadley, depending on how things shake down in the Walker standings. But a win tonight, and they're in, one way or the other. And they will probably be the only Franklin County team that will make a postseason appearance this year. This time we ask everyone to please rise, remove their hats as the Frontier Regional Band honors America by playing our national anthem. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Vermont, Greenfield, and Brattleboro. Or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Also, Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future, insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. And by attorney Daniel Graves. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, he is also a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office. 773-8706 for all of your legal needs. So this is going to be a very, very interesting matchup, and we will see, and Apple will get their first crack at the ball as Frontier won the toss and deferred. Castine and Nelson are back deep for the Red Raiders at about their own 10-yard line. Low kick, taken at about the 35, and up to about the 42-yard line. That's a gain of about seven yards, and Athol will start off with pretty good field position. First and 10. 
here at the four center stop for the Red Hawks. Red Raiders ball first and 10 from the Athol 42 yard line. Athol, like Frontier, likes to run the ball. Uh, their quarterback, relatively young kid, Keegan Lutz, a freshman, not known for throwing it a lot. He only threw one pass last week against Greenfield. That was for a touchdown. Backs are split behind Lutz. And motion goes Castine. Inside Gibbs, straight up the gut. Close Robbie to the Nelson 50, the Robbie period. Nelson. There he is, number, big number 44. There's nothing subtle about that kid. Seven yards, and he gets up to about the 49. Second and three. Frontier's gonna run, or their Athol's gonna run off tackle, probably on a trap, which worked very well against Greenfield last week. Second and three. And you know, a, little bit, a little bit of procedure, a little bit of motion on the line. On the Red Raiders, five yard penalty will remain second down. And bring up second and eight from the 44. We're just underway from Frontier Regional School in South Deerfield. Which if the Raiders or the uh, Hawks win tonight will be the site of a playoff game most likely next Friday night. Let's under center again. Full house backfield. And Lutz is gonna roll on second down and long. And cuts around Lutz the corner and gets back to about the 45 yard line. So Lutz with the keeper there. Looked like a broken play. Matt Hildreth on a stop for the Red Hawks. And he will gain a Ooh. yard on that. End of a yard will be third and six. Third and seven from the 45. I was going to say 46, so they gave him two. From the Athol, 46 yard line. Again, Nelson is split with Castine behind Lutz in the backfield for Athol. Now in motion goes Barrio, and the pass is complete. Pass complete to number 85, Joey Latamaki. Latamaki pulls it in, but not going to be enough for the first down. Fourth and four for the Red Raiders. Lutz to Latamaki on the Red Raider completion. And it's going to bring up fourth and four in a punting situation for the Raiders. And Aaron Landry is back deep for the Red Hawks. And Sedaris will boot it away. This kid has quite a foot on him. When you see him kick, place kicks, I mean, he was knocking it into the end zone with regularity. And it's a good end over end punt. Aaron Landry will take it at about the 30. And he cuts at the right corner and gets blown out of bounds. Uh, just outside the 35, which is where the Hawks will take it. Red Hawks, first and 10. First and 10 Frontier from the Frontier 34 yard line. 34 is where they will spot it. And the Hawks with their first crack on offense. Inside Gibb again, this time it's Wordley. Wordley gets outside and is brought down just inside the 45 yard line. Again, Wordley is 156 away from 1,000. Got nine on that one. Second and one from the 43. And this one's going to go to Bryce Dobis. And he is well line. sniffed out by the Red Raiders. It's going to be a loss of a couple. Loss of two yards, second and 12. Second and 12 from the 41. 
of Frontier. Fumble on a play. That fumble is going to be recovered by Frontier. So this is a bit of a sputter happening. As they're going backwards, not forwards. Second and 13. Pitch goes right side. Worley is brought down. Worley on a carry. And that's going to bring up on a tackle. fourth down, and I think he maybe got two yards. Gain of about a yard. It'll be fourth and 11 for the Red Hawks. Fourth and 11 from the 42 yard line. So this is. Uh, not been a great drive so far. Steve Wordley to punt for the Hawks. And Wordley will kick it away. Keegan Lux back to receive for the Red Raiders. And over end kick. Bounces all the way back and is going to roll all the way down. Punt will be down. To just outside the 10-yard line of Athol, which is where the Red Raiders will take over. At the Red Raider 12-yard line, first and 10 Athol. The Raiders, first and 10 for their own 12. Keegan Lutz under center. Inside Nelson give up the turn. middle to Nelson. And he just blasts through the line and Bryce on a stop for the picks Red up Hawks. about five yeah, yards on that about one. Five yards, it'll be second and five for the Red Second Raiders. and five from the 17 of Athol. 5.51 to go in the first quarter, no score. This is Athol's second possession of the night. And split backs behind Keegan Lutz. Inside give to the fullback. Gets up past the Nelson 20, it looks carry. like. And again, that's Robbie Nelson. And it's going to bring him to about the 21 yard line. Matt Carlson on a stop. Third and three for Athol. Ball squatted at the 19-yard line. And outside give again. This is maybe first down yardage. Nathan Barrio on a carry. It's Barrio with the run. Matt Hilders on a stop. That's going to be a first down. Red Raider first down. First, down first one all. for the Red Raiders. In the Athol 25-yard line. 25-yard line. So that was good for a six-yard carry. First and 10 from the 25. Same formation. Back split behind Lutz. Inside give. Bobby Up Nelson the gut to Nelson. He gets out to close to the 30-yard line. Donovan Hoffman on a stop for Frontier. And that ball's going to be at the 30-yard line. It's good for a five-yard game. Second and five. Second and five from the 30. So Athol is starting to chew up some yards on the ground. Mostly using the big fullback, Robbie Nelson. We had a career game last week. Four touchdowns and over 200 yards against Greenfield. And they pretty much manhandled Greenfield from the opening kickoff last week. And inside give, out past the 30. Barrio on the carry. Again, that was Barrio again. Gain of two yards, third and three for and We're going to go up to about the 33-yard line. Third and a long two for the Raiders. Again, if you're just joining us, 
If Frontier wins this game, they are pretty much guarantee a berth in the playoffs. Although, early going, it looks like they're gonna have a fight on their hands. Left under center. Inside give again. Nelson pulls ahead. And another first down for Athol. Aaron Landry on a stop. Carry good for a Red Raider first down. Up to about the 38 yard line. That's good for first five. And ten. Athol from the Athol 38 yard line. So this is a pretty good sustained drive so far for the Athol Red Raiders. And the more that they do this, the more they keep the ball out of the hands of the high powered frontier offense. Let's. Rolls out, Fumble, picked up, Fumble still down, recovered by Frontier. That was just a missed exchange. And the Red Hawks catch an early break as Manny Carlson pulls in the fumble. And that's gonna give Frontier great field position. At the 30 yard line of Athol. Carlson, Johnny on the spot, fell on that loose ball. Once again, it was just was never really a clean handoff. And Matty Hildreth brings his guys up in good field position. Fake, Hildreth is gonna throw it. Throws it downfield looking for Landry incomplete. Just a little bit too far ahead of him. That'll bring up second and 10. Second and 10 for the Red Hawks. Kind of unusual for Keegan to throw in first down like that, but he likes to throw to Landry. They've hooked up a couple of times this season. Second and 10 from the 30. Handoff goes to Wordley. Down the right sideline. And that's going to be a first down. For Frontier. Down Ball spotted at the 18 the yard line. 19 yard line. I'll call it the 19. It's good for 11 yard gain. Pitch goes to the right side again Worthy to Wordley. Robbie Nelson on the stop. And he is brought down at about the Gain of seven, second and three for the Hawks. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it six. Second down and four from the 13 of Athol. This one goes to Landry on the counter run. Landry's Landry still on his feet, on chugging along. And Sean that's gonna Fisher bring up a first and goal for the Red Hawks. Third and one for Frontier. I'm sorry, he didn't get all the way in. So third and one, so that's going to be good for three yard carry. Third and one from the 10 of Athol. They didn't have to go in the first quarter, and Frontier knocking on the door thanks to the fumble recovery. Looked like the defense jumped. Give goes to Landry, they tie him up Landry in the backfield. Well defended, looked like the AFL players jump, but no call. Noah Jeffrey on the stop. And they're gonna knock loss him back. Yards. They're knock him back to, loss of four yards. it's a It'll loss of four. Fourth and five for Fourth Frontier. and five from the 14 of Athol. I think you gotta definitely gotta go for it here, obviously. We'll see if they call a pass player. I'll be, curious, I'll be curious to see what they decide to do. Hildreth under center. Sending Price to wide out to the right. Hainoff's gonna go to Worldly. Worldly just beats the guy. Just flat out beat the guy, touchdown. That was almost unfair. Touchdown for Steve Worldly. On fourth and five. They go to the little man, and it's six nothing just like that. That is a confident team in their run game on fourth and five to go for a counter run and, and Worldly just flat out beat the defender. There was not a lot that guy could do. 
And Hildreth. Point after kick. Snap is down, kick is up. And the kick is no good. Come back up the field, 26 seconds left to go in the first quarter. The Red Hawks lead Aptal 6-0. This is high school football on Frontier Community Access Television. High school football being brought to you in part by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center. With five locations to serve you, Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Vermont, Greenfield, Mass, Brattleboro, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Frontier to kick it off. And a low swim kick. And a spin up to about the 20 yard line. Picked up. And going to get about a yard. And he is brought down. Focus on a stop for Frontier. Athol ball, first and 10. First and 10 Hawks at the 20, or sorry, the Raiders rather, at the 20. One yard line, their own 21 yard line, it looks like. Make, ball, make it the 20. 21 yard line. So Athol was doing pretty well, moving the ball pretty well in that last series until they fumbled and then gave Frontier a gift, which they turned into six points. Let's see if they can start getting some momentum going again in the waiting seconds of this first quarter. One good person goes in motion. Inside handoff. Nelson it's going to be carry. Robbie Nelson again. Right up the gut Wordly, to Carson about the 23. Stop. Gain of about two. Gain of two, second and eight. Second and eight from the 23 of Athol. And that will bring to an end the first quarter. We have played one quarter of football the the out there. At the end of one quarter, it's Frontier 6, half all nothing. This is Red Hawk Football on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Alec Eckel, and Sam Finch back out here at Frontier Regional School. I want to thank some more of our underwriters. Raymond Financial Services, LLC, take charge of your financial future, insurance, investments, benefits for individuals and employers. And attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire, in addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office, 773-8706, for all of your legal needs. So we're going to bring up second and about eight from the Athol 23-yard line to start the second quarter. Kind of a kind of a sleepy game right now. That, I'm not sensing a, a ton of intensity on both sides of the ball. But Frontier is six points up on Athol. But Athol has really held the ball more than Frontier has in the early part of this game. Second and eight for the Red Raiders. Second and eight. Lutz. Split backs. One man in motion. Inside draw Nelson again. On the carry. Robbie Nelson up the middle again. And uh, we'll see where they Man spot Hilder's it. Stop. We'll spot this five ball. Yards, it'll be third and a long two. Third and three from the 28 of Athol. Same formation. Castine goes in motion and looks, looks like a fumble on the play. Bad exchange. Recovered by, recovered by, the, Red by the Red Hawks. Looked like they got it back, but Frontier recovers again. Deep in Athol territory. First and 10 from the Athol 25 yard line. At the 25, so another gift. A team you absolutely don't want to give freebies to or gifts. It's Frontier. First and ten, Red Hawks in the 25-yard line. Second fumble recovery for Frontier. And the inside and give goes carry. to Landry. Robbie Nelson on the stop. Gain of nine yards, second and one for Frontier. Second and two from the 17. Okay. 
Landry and that Larry. was Aaron. Aaron down the right, right side. Stop. And they've got the first down. Carry good for a Red Hawk first down. First and ten. First and ten frontier. And we have a 14 yard line. Once again, Worley around the corner. Did he get in? Just about got to the first down marker. Gain of seven yards, second and three for the Red Hawks. That ball will be spotted at the right around the seven yard line. Of Athol. Time out. The time out of the field will take the break. Line 08 to go in the first half. Frontier six. Athol nothing. And the Red Hawks are knocking on the door. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. Hand off inside. They bull ahead, and it's going to be Dobis a touchdown. Bryce Dobis. With the big run up the middle, seven yards, and a touchdown. Makes it 12-0. So Bryce Dobis, a nice little carry up the middle. Makes the score 12-0. Again, two fumbles, two touchdowns. Hildreth to kick the extra point. Snap is down, nope, and there was a oh, that snap pass to the end zone, and they got the two-point conversion. For number 42, <laughs> Kiernan Freeman for the two-point conversion. Nine minutes left in the first so half. The two-point conversion is good. We'll come back up the field with the score. 14. Red Hawks 14, and that's all nothing. This is high school football on Frontier Community Access Television. Hawks up two touchdowns on the Raiders. That ball's gonna go all the way into the end zone. It goes into the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Back. The Red Raiders take over first and 10 from the Athol 20 yard line. So I don't know what happened there. It looked like the guy was gonna run up to get it. He ran right by the ball and it went into the end zone. So that's a little bit unusual, but Athol will take over at their own 20. This has not gone well for the Raiders in terms of uh, Turnovers, two fumbles, and two touchdowns for the Red Hawks. See if Keegan Lutz can get the Raiders going here. Nine minutes even to go in the half. Lutz under center, split backs. Inside give to Nelson. Nelson on a carry. Gets a couple of yards, maybe. Stephen Worthy on the stop for the Hawk. No game. Actually, no game on the play. Didn't, didn't look like he got anywhere. Second and 10. Once again from the 20. So the Athol run defense is starting to stand up a little bit, making things difficult for Nelson and company. Let's under center. One man goes in motion, Castine. And the pitch goes on the outside. Barrio on a carry. And that was actually Barrio that went in motion, and Barrio has run out of bounds. Aaron Landry. And we'll see if he got. Bryce Dobis. Might have got a couple. Red Hawks, gain of a couple yards. Did he got two? Third and eight for Athol. Third and eight from the 22 for Athol. Athol has completed one pass in this game, a very short two yard screen pass. They have pretty much kept the ball on the ground ever since. Right now, Frontier's run defense is starting to read these plays and step up a little bit. Inside give, off Robbie left Nelson tackle. Robbie Nelson again. But he's not going to get to the first down marker. It's going to bring up fourth and four. So you got about four yards on that one. Fourth and three. 
Ball at the 26 yard line. And they're going to have to punt. Salinas to punt. Salinas has a big foot. He has yet to kick off yet. When you see how far he can boot it. Not a bad punt. It's going to bounce at about the 40, and it's going to roll and stop at about will be down the 37-yard line at Frontier. No return, and that is where the, the Hawks will take over. So the Red Hawks will take over at uh, the, your own 37-yard line. Less than seven minutes to go in the game, and Frontier with a 14-0 lead. Again, two fumbles, two touchdowns for the Red Hawks, and they'll take them. Hildreth bringing his guys up under center. In motion, right side, and Hildreth is going to throw. And the pass incomplete. Pass intended for number 15, Cole intended Price for Cole Price. Second Price got a hand on it, but could not haul it in. Or bring it second and 10 in the 37. Goes to Wordley on the right side. Wordley gets spun around, still going. First down yardage at least into Athol territory. Down by Derek. So we'll move the sticks. A rally carry into Athol territory for a Red Hawk first down. Ball's going to be spotted at the 46 Frontier from of Athol. The 46 yard line. It's good for a 17 yard carry for Wordley. That is going to be Wordley again. Robbie Nelson on a stop. And he got about one on that one. Gain of a yard, second and, second and nine. Second and nine from the 45 of Athol. Just about six and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Frontier, 14 nothing, looking to go ahead by three scores. Looks like it went to on a carry. Landry. Nelson on a stop. Gain of a yard, third and nine. Actually, that's going to be no gain on the play there. Third and nine from the 45 of Athol. So Athol defense right now is starting to read that play a little bit. Out of the shotgun, goes to Dobus right side. Dobus spins to the outside. Good pursuit by the ends. <clears throat> that was a little bit of a shotgun direct snap kind of a thing. And <clears throat> he might have lost a yard. Let's see where they spot it. Christopher Wazilaski on a stop. For he lost Raiders. about a yard. So fourth it's going to be fourth and 10 from the 45. Well, I'll tell you, save for the Miscues in the turnovers. Athol's defended the run pretty well tonight. And for the second time, the Hawks are going to have to punt. Wordly, fake, uh, they fake it. And it goes to Hildreth. Hildreth tries to get the corner. He's still going. First down and more. Hildreth down the sideline. What a play. We thought he was dead in the backfield, but he got free, and it's a first down. So the gamble pays off. Way to go. Well set up. First and 10, Red Hawks. And they're going to say he went out of bounds at the 33, it looks like. <laughs> so it's a 12-yard gain. But enough to get the first down. A little bit of razzle-dazzle there by the Red Hawks. 
Hildreth out of the gun. Inside give Wordly to Wordley. Robbie Nelson on a stop for the Red Raiders. And he gets probably a couple of yards down to the 31. Gain of a yard, second and nine. Four thirty-three to go in the half. Fourteen nothing Red Hawks. Again in the shotgun. This goes to Dobis. Dobis spins down the right side. First down territory. Man, is he explosive when he runs down that right sideline. First and 10 for the Red Hawks. And they're going to spot it at about the 22. Time out for measurement. I'm going to measure it. I thought he got there, but we'll see. Sure looked like he got there. He had to get to the 23. First down. First down, Red Hawks. And the ball looks like it's going to be spotted right at about the 23 yard line. Hildreth of the shotgun again to Worthley. Worthley down the right sideline is taken down near the goal line. Robbie Nelson on the stop. Carry good for It's going to be first and goal. Ball's going to be spotted at about the eight yard line. First and goal for the Red Hawks. First and goal from the eight. Hildreth now goes back under center. In motion goes Wordley, Hildreth. Inside handoff, up the middle. Are they in? Touchdown. I'll have to see who carried that one. Did we see who carried that? It was tough to tell. It was a big pile going up the middle. It's a touchdown. Bryce Dobis on a red hot touchdown. So Dobis with the eight yard run. Hildreth to kick it. Kick is up. And the kick, kick is, is good. good by number seven, so come back up the field with the score. Red Hawks 21. And Athol nothing. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. Steve Worley to kick off for Frontier. It's so the Red Hawks now up three touchdowns. Mason Berrio. Back to Two turnovers by Athol, and then a fake punt kept the drive alive for Frontier. And they go in courtesy of a Bryce Dobis eight-yard run. 3.37 to go in the half. Kick it off. And this is going to be sort of a straight ahead kick. Taken down kick to off. about the eight. Brian booted it. And up to return. about the 19 yard line. That's good for an 11 yard return, which is where the Athol Red Raiders will take over. For First and 10. For the Red Hawks. First and 10, Athol. From the Athol 25 yard line. 25 yard line is where they'll start it off. Let's now bring the ball up, bring his team up. Same formation. Now in motion goes Castine. Inside give goes nowhere. 
they pretty much tied him up. Jason Berrio. It was Berrio. Stop. Donovan Hoffman. Berrio on a carry. Hoffman on a stop. Gained got about a, yard, not one and yard. Nine. Second and nine from the 26 of Athol. Once again, if Frontier wins this game, they are in the postseason. They will at least grab a share of the Intercounty League North Championship and likely will host a first round playoff game here next weekend. Inside give. Robbie Nelson on the that give. was Robbie Nelson again, the big man, the big fullback. Up to about the... Gain of a couple yards. It'll be third and seven for Athol. 30 yard or so. Third and seven at about the 28. Clock is in motion, less than two and a half to play. Again, Frontier up 21-0. Taking, making the most of a couple of fumbles, turnovers by Athol, and then, of course, they use that fake punt to keep the last drive alive. Pitch goes on the right side to Nelson. Trying to spread the defense out, and Nelson gets brought down short of first down yardage. Bryce Dobis, Edo McMillan on the stop. About the 34, I think. Fourth down for the Red Raiders from the 35-yard line. Fourth and about a half a yard. Yeah, that's, that's pretty close. Timeout call by Frontier. Yeah, he, uh, he got about a uh, good six yards on that carry. So fourth and about a yard with 141 to go. It's got to be a bit frustrating for Ethel. They've, they haven't done badly in terms of running the ball, but they've made a couple of big mistakes in those fumbles. And that has allowed Frontier to punch in a couple of scores. And that's a, a you do not want to be given this Red Hawk team that many opportunities to score in situations like that. Fourth and one. Backs are split behind Lutz. Lutz is just going to push it ahead. Quarterback sneak. Did he get it? Is the question. I think so, yeah. down Athol. From the Red Raider, 35-yard line. Yep, that's good for all the one you needed. It was one yard, and he got it. And Athol will keep moving the ball, keep moving the chains. With 1.36 to go in the first half. And a little reverse cross buck. A little bit of misdirection there. Got a few yards. It was Barrio. It was brought down by Landry. That could have been a lot more yardage if Landry doesn't bring him down. Ball spotted at the 40. Minute to go in the first half. Lutz rolls left. Lutz fires across the across his body actually and passes incomplete. That'll bring up second or third and five actually. Ball spotted just outside the forty yard line. Third and five for the Red Raiders. I give to Nelson. Nelson on the carry. He gets brought down after a couple of yard gain. And that's going to bring up fourth and about three. Two Gordley on a stop for the Red Hawks. So he got two on that one. For the Red Raiders. Less than 30 seconds in the half. They'll probably get time to run one more play. Or maybe not. They may just let the clock run out. Oh, 
Yep, they're not going to get a playoff. That'll bring to an end the first half. Oh, flag down. Delay of game. Delay of on game. The Raiders, five yard penalty. Remain fourth down. I'll knock him back five yards. To the 38. And 1.5 seconds left. The Raiders. They're try and punt it. Back to the C for the Red Hawks. Salinas. High end over end kick. And they're just going to let it drop. And there'll be no return. And that'll be the end that'll of the second the quarter. The we have played one half of football, football Red Hawks, from the South Deerfield. At the end of one half, it's the Frontier Red Hawks. 21. The Alpha Red Raiders, nothing. Open. Second half action upcoming. We'll Red Hawk football on Frontier Raiders. Community Access Television.
right hand for the Red Hawk Band under the direction of Mr. Max Sherrill. As always, the band thanks you for your support. They invite you to come out tomorrow to UMass for Band Day. The band's going to join 24 other middle school and high school bands from New England along with the uh, UMass Marching Band to play some Beatles tunes. 3.30 tomorrow at UMass. Welcome back to second half action here. Red Hawk football and Frontier Community Access Television. The Red Hawks come into the second half with a 21 to nothing lead. Red Hawks uh, taking advantage of a couple of Athol turnovers. Uh, the first of which allowed Steve Worthy to run in a 14 yard touchdown run on a fourth and five call after Athol's fumble gave Frontier the ball at the 30 yard line of the Red Raiders. And then, in the second half, Bryce Dobas, again, off of a turnover, was able to convert a seven-yard touchdown run. And the point-after pass from Wordley to Karen Freeman made it 14-0. And then Dobas, again, late in the second quarter with an eight-yard run and a Hildreth kick, makes his score an even 21-0. In the first half, Steve uh, Wordley had 10 carries for 86 yards, which puts him 70 yards away from 1,000. Whether he'll get it in this half or not, we don't know. But uh, right now, the things are looking really good uh, for the Red Hawks to win outright the IL North because in East Hampton, the Turner's Falls Indians are walking all over the East Hampton Eagles, it's 27 to nothing. And I'm not sure anybody saw that coming, but <laughs> Red Hawks will take it. So if they can continue what they've been doing in the first half and the second half, if they can continue what they've been doing and just get them play conservative football down the stretch, they're not only going to win this game, they're going to win the IL title and they're going to host a first round game in the playoffs probably Friday night next. And uh, we will have that game for you one way or the other. It's entirely possible that our friends from Bear Country will be on the commentary. But uh, uh, Frontier is probably going to be the only team that is going to locally make the playoffs this year. And that Walker system, I think, has frozen some people out. but. And again, the only loss this season for this Frontier team was an overtime loss to Greenfield. Some might uh, have might qualify that as a fluke. But in any event, they are 22 minutes of football away from a league championship and a trip to the postseason. And if things continue as they have in East Hampton, and i got to tell you, Chris LaPointe and the East uh, Turner's Falls fans have got to be loving that because they've taken some pastings from East Hampton over the years. And uh, it'd be nice to play the spoiler role a little bit. I want to thank some of our underwriters who make this uh, Frontier Regional football coverage possible. Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Vermont, Brattleboro, Vermont, and Greenfield, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services. LLC, take charge of your financial future, insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. And attorney Dan Graves, Esquire, in addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office, 773-8706, for all your legal needs. Now watch this. This, this kid, Salanis, 
has got quite a boot on him. And if he does what he did last week, he might very well send this, this ball right into the end zone or beyond. He has one of the strongest feet I have ever seen at this level. Assuming he doesn't squib it and make a liar out of me, but he, this kid can kick the ball. And he able to knock it to about the 10 yard line. And Landry takes it at about the five. Cuts back up the right side, runs Landry into a, I think, Solanis. And he gets up to about the 24 yard line. So not a bad return. All things being equal, good for about 20 yards. And that is where the Frontier Redhawks will take it over. Four yard line. First and 10 from the 24. Again, winning 50 50 ticket. 5 2 1 7 1 2 8. 5 2 1 7 1 2 8. Claim your prize here at the press box. Down the right corner. And driven out of bounds, I think. Wordly on a carry. It was Wordly, and I think that might have been a loss of a couple there. Loss of a couple yards. Loss of the yards, second and 11. So now he's 72 yards away from 1,000. Second and 12 from the 22. Again, I think uh, Athol's been pretty good defensively, but they just have made a couple of miscues that have opened the door for Frontier. Out of the shotgun. And Hildreth throws it downfield. That's complete for a first down. Aaron Landry, completion good for a Red Hawk first down. First and 10 Frontier. And ball's going to be Hawk, spotted at about the 42-yard line. So that's good for a 20-yard hookup from Hildreth to Landry. First and 10 Hawks. As they're moving the ball out of their own end. Inside give again. Plowing ahead, Landry on the and carry. Landry is brought down at about midfield. Kozlowski on the stop. Of and that's going to be right, yep, two. right at about midfield. Second and two from the 50. This is the time when you got to be a little bit concerned. Up three touchdowns about potential injuries. You're going to go into a playoff game next week. How long will these starters be in there? Pitch goes to Worldly right side. And Worley splits the middle, fires downfield. Worley keeps going, and he's taken out of bounds finally. And that saved a potential touchdown. First and ten, Frontier Jason again. Barrier, want to stop. Carry into Red Raider territory for a Red Hawk first down. Ball's going to be spotted at about the 26-yard line, I think. No, it's... Worthy again, right side. Bobby Nelson on the stop. Yeah, that'll get us down to the 16 yard line. Second and one. Second and one for the Red Hawks. Dobis on the carry. Dobis pushes it ahead. First down, Red Hawks. First and 10 from the Athol 11 yard line. Gonna go right side to Wordley, and he's in for the touchdown. Red Hawks, 11 yard run by 29, Stephen Wordley. It's 27 nothing, Wordley from 11. So Wordley on that uh, drive had 45 yards. So that puts him 
Well, let's go for the kick here. Hildreth, snap down, kick up, and is good. We'll come back up the field. Frontier Redhawks, 28. And Athol nothing. This is high school football on Frontier Community Access Television. By my count now, Steve Worley is 27 yards away from 1,000. That's unofficial, but... 44, Jacob Bryant to kick off. Mason Low scrim kick. Don't Taking it about the 15. The Cut back the other way. And... On a return. Kieran Freeman on a stop for Frontier. Right down at about the 31 yard line. It's good for about a 11 yard Mason return. Red Raiders. And Athol will get the ball for the first time the in the second half. And the handoff goes the right side. Bolio cuts across. Close to the first down. He may have it. Mason Barrio, the junior back. It's going to be good for a first down. Red Raider first down, first and 10 at all. And the at all 44 yard line. That was good for 13 yards by Barrio. Less than nine to go in the third quarter. That's under center. And this goes to Barrio again. Castine on the carry. I'm sure that's Castine. By a host of Red Hawks. Up to about the 46. Good for a couple of yards. We're about second and eight. Second and eight. And the Hawks up 28 nothing. Courtesy of an 11 yard Stephen Wordley run. He is now 27 yards away from 1,000 on the season. Second and seven. Castine in motion. Inside Robin handoff Nelson. for Nelson. Fumble on a play. Fumble again. Athol is going to probably recover, recover that. Yep. And they're into frontier territory at about 47. Going to gonna bring it Still looking for our 50 -50 third and winner. one. The number is 521-7128. Seven yard run. 521-7128. Claim your prize here at the press box. Five and a half to go in the third. Lutz. Fumble. Fumble Recovered by frontier again. Yep, that's the third fumble. Worley recovers. And another turnover. And again, Frontier takes over in Athol territory, courtesy of a fumble. And that has been the story of the game right now, other than Steve Worley being close to 1,000. The Athol turnovers. Three turnovers. Now whistle, we're going to have a penalty. Legal procedure on Red Hawks. Five yard penalty, it'll be first and 15. That's the first penalty of the game for Frontier. It pushes him back beyond the 50 to the 40, their own 46. First and 15. Hildreth with the full house backfield again in motion. Goes Wordley. He gets it. Spins away. Wordley on a carry. And up to about the 48 yard line. Good for a couple. Dylan Castine on the tackle. He's now 25 Wordley away. A couple yards. It'll be second and 13. Second and 13 from the 48.
Or they could break one here and get, the, get to 1,000 in one run. That's how explosive he is. Hildreth. The motion goes wordly again. Hildreth. Going to pass. And nice defensive play. Kieran Freeman had that ball, had a beat on it, but the AFL defender was able to get up a hand on it. Third and 13 for the Red Hawks. That ball probably a little more air under it than uh, you might have wanted, but again, good idea. Third and 13 from the 48. Flag down. Called by the Red Hawks. I saw a flag get thrown. Or is it a timeout? In any event, it looks like a timeout, so let's uh, thank some of our underwriters. I want to thank Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, benefits for individuals and employers. Also, attorney Dan Graves, Esquire, in addition to being a Deerfield Town moderator. And then he's also a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office, 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center, five locations to serve you. Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, and Brattleboro, Vermont, and Greenfield or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Chris Collins, Alec Echo, and Sam Finch here on the night that the Frontier Red Hawks look like they're going to clinch the IL North title. And handoff. Oh, Landry has got run over. Ran over an athlete guy. It's good for a first down, I think. Not pretty close to it. Territory. It'll be nope, they're the going to the give him uh, 12, so fourth and one from the 40 of Athol. I thought he got him, but they're definitely going to go for it here. And fourth and short. Inside give. Dobus stays with it. Look at Dobus. He just was not going to go down. First down for Frontier. Bryce has been the guy on short yardage tonight. We have another ticket for the 50-50. First and 10. Frontier. Claim your prize here at the press From the 32. First and 10 Frontier from the of Red Raider 32-yard line. Up, oh, flag down. It's going to be offside on Frontier. First and 15. You really don't want to be making those kinds of mistakes. But when you're up by four touchdowns, it's not necessarily as big of a deal as it would be otherwise. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. Hildreth under center. And Hildreth is going to throw on first and 15. Hildreth downfield. Complete to Kiernan. Kiernan Freeman's got a first down. That's the second completion of the game for Hildreth. And it's going to be first down yardage at the... Looks like the 15. Good for 22 yards. First and 10 from the Red Raider 12 yard line. Inside give. Let's see who that went to. They're down to about the seven. Stephen Woodley on a carry. It was Wordley again. Gain of eight, second and two. Second and two. So he is now 17 away. Ball spotted at the seven yard line. Worthy again with the corner. He's in, touchdown. He is now 10 yards away and he gets the touchdown. And it is 34 nothing. Red Hawks will attempt the point after number seven, Matt Hildreth.
Hildreth kick is up, and it's good. We'll come back up the floor, or the uh, come back up the field with the score. Red Hawks 35, half all nothing. It's high school football on Frontier Community Access Television. So I might count. Stephen Worley is 10 yards away from a thousand. To boot it away. Taking it about the 11 yard line. Barry Hill's brought down at about the 25. That's good for a 14 yard return. First and 10. From the Athol 26 yard line. That's where Athol will take it over. Take a moment to recognize the efforts from the cheerleaders from both teams. Great job, ladies. Yes, definitely have to, have to recognize the cheerleaders. They do a great job. First and 10 from the 26. Athol with the ball. Side give goes to looks like Nelson. Robbie Nelson on the carry. And they got about four on that one. The four, it's not second a and six. Five. It'll be second and five for Rathall. Ball spotted just outside the 30 yard line. Lutz is going to keep it, and he's going to get plowed before he gets to the marker. And he's going to get to uh, about the 34. 41. Mason Berrio on the carry. It'll be third and three for Athol. Third and three from the 33. But Barrio's in at quarterback. Okay, they made a quarterback change. It looked like a quarterback sneak, and it was. So Barrio's in at quarterback for, well, he was in that particular case. Handoff, fumble. Fumble on the play. Recovered by Athol this time, I believe. Fumble recovered by Stephen Wordley. No, nope, recovered by Frontier. Now. Another turnover. Four fumbles, four giveaways. And that gives Frontier the ball. <laughs> Again, deep inside Athol territory. At the 31. Yes. Wordley. Off tackle. Down the right sideline. Wordley all the way down and in for the touchdown. And with that, he goes over 1,000. With that carry, number nine, Stephen Wordley joins his running back mate, Aaron Landry, with 1,000 yards rushing. Congratulations to both of you. Yeah, he was 10 away, and he added 21, so he's now at 1,021 yards for the season. Tremendous, tremendous performance tonight by Stephen Wordley. Hildreth to kick it away. He's up, and it's good. We'll come back up the field with the score, 42. Frontier, nothing for Athol. This is Red Hawk Football on Frontier Community Access Television. 42 nothing. Four fumbles, four touchdowns for Frontier. All off of turnovers. Kick taken at about the 10 yard line. And ball brought up to about the 30 yard line. That's good for about a 19 yard return. 
Regional score with the score of the Red Hawks. That's the end of three quarters. We played three. The end of three. It's Frontier 42. And Athol nothing. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. Not only has Stephen Worthy reached the 1,000-yard mark, but by my count tonight, he's recovered three of Athol's four fumbles, which have all led to touchdowns. It is an old-fashioned stomping going on here. 42-0. Frontier with the lead. Athol will start off at the 30-yard line. Mason Barrio is in at quarterback for the Red Raiders. But this has been quite a night for Steve Worldly. Four touchdowns, two for Bryce Dobas, and Worldly joins the 1,000-yard club. So big night in Red Hawk Nation. And Turner's Falls is laying a whomping on East Hampton, which would give, if they beat them, uh, Frontier the IL North crown outright. Inside give Robbie to Robbie team. Nelson. Matt Carlson on the stop for the Red Hawks. In a four, second and six. Ball spotted at the 34 yard line. It's good for four. Second and six, 34 for Athol. And this is actually not at all what Athol wanted to have happen, but. In many ways, they've been beating themselves tonight by turning the ball over four times, four fumbles, four scores. Did they fumble that one, too? No, it was just, it was just a slip. It was a fumble. That one they recovered. That's the one that they've recovered so far tonight. Loss of a yard. It brings up third and seven from the 33 of Athol. Inside give, and a big hit at the line. Matty Carlson just laid the hammer down on Tyler Castine. That's a little insult to injury right there. Castine did get up to the 35-yard line, so he gained two, but he gained two the hard way. Fourth and five from the 35 of Athol. Okay, Carlson has had a couple of pretty strong games for the Frontier Red Hawks. Last week against East Hampton, and this week he's been all over Athol. Stares with the boot, and it's going to bounce and roll and not get returned. Right down at about the 23. So Sedaris' punting has been one of the bright spots tonight for Athol. There's not much has gone right for them in terms of, well, they moved the ball a little bit on offense, but they have had no sustained real drives, and every time they start to get some momentum going, we cough it up, and that is, uh, and that has re resulted in uh, just a plethora of frontier points. The Red Hawks will take over, and about their 24. Uh oh. And handoff goes to. And look at him fly. That is Garrett DeForest still going. So Garrett DeForest in there making some things happen. That's good for a first down and much more. It goes up to about the 42 yard line. Good for an 18-yard gain for Garrett DeForest. What do they say he went out? Wait a second. What? Flag on a play. There's a flag down. Let's see what they call here. They're standing on the 35 right now. So DeForest got to the 35, and they're going to knock him back. Legal block by the Red Hawks. Block in the back. It will remain first down, first and 
So that is wiped off. First and 10. And that was on the carry. Sam Hebert on the carry. Sam Hebert is right. No gain on the play, second and 10. Second and 10 for the 24. Clock is in motion, less than eight to go. This one's academic at this point, 42 nothing. Inside, yeah, it's a fumble. And who recovered it? Recovered by the Red Raiders. Recovered by Athol. So that's the second fumble for Frontier and the first giveaway. And now the Red Raiders will take it over. First and 10 at the 24. First and 10 Red Raiders from the Red Hawk 25 yard line. Athol looking to break the shutout here if they can. And that's going to be a legal procedure. We have a procedure penalty on the Red Raiders. Five yard penalty, first and 15. That'll bring it back to about the 30 yard line of Frontier. First and 15 from the 30. 7.25 to go in the game, 42 nothing. Frontier. Nelson on Inside the give to Robbie Nelson. That'll Matt get him up Nelson to about be a, gain of a couple of yards there. Two yards, second and 13. Ball spotted at the 28 yard line. And that's Lutz running on the right side. So Lutz has shifted to tailback. And Barrio is now the quarterback. And let's see how far he got. Maybe close to a first down. Edo McMillan made the stop. Third and five. He got about five yards on that one. Third and five from the 23 of Frontier. Six and a half to go in the game. Last check we had, we had Turner's up by on East Hampton. 27 nothing at the half in East Hampton. We're still waiting to see if we can get another scoreboard update. But just joining us here, Steve Wordley, four touchdowns and has, has eclipsed a thousand yard mark. Inside give goes to Nelson. Nelson on the carry. That's going to be good for a first Gary down. Forrest on the tackle. Carry good for a Red Raider first down. Ball spotted just outside the 10 at about the 11. It was good for 12 for first and 10 Red Raiders Robbie. from the Frontier 11 yard line. So the Raiders knocking on the door. Of breaking the shutout here. It goes to Casty. Or Lutz, rather. And he's close to first down yardage. Let's see where they spot him. Ball spotted at about the six, looks like. Let's see, they're talking it over. Look like personal foul. Oh, on personal the foul Hawks. on the red on Frontier. So that's going to move him half the distance. Half the distance, and it'll be a first down for. It'll uh, be first and goal from the three. So credit Lutz with the five-yard run, and the ball spotted at the three-yard line of Frontier. Because First of the personal goal. foul. Inside give. Robbie Nelson carries. Nelson with the touchdown. touchdown. So Robbie Nelson for the Athol Red Raiders breaks the shutout. 
with a three yard run with the extra point up coming. And you'll get to see the boot again of Kyle Salanis if they kick it here. Five minutes even to go. To the end, they're going to go for a two point conversion here. And there's going to be a sack on the play. As the run does not happen. And we'll come back up the field with the score. The Frontier Red Hawks 42, the Athol Red Raiders 6. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. For Salantis to kick off for Athol. Edo McMillan and Boyce Dobis are back to receive for the Red Hawks. So the Athol Red Raiders. Get on the scoreboard. Robbie Nelson, three-yard touchdown run. The two-point conversion fails. Sedaris now, Salinas to kick it away, rather. Salinas is, uh, let's see what he does here. I'd like to see him boot one into the end zone. And he actually is kind of end over end kick, taking it about the 15. And up the right sideline, and look out. See ya later. Bryce Dobis. An 85 yard touchdown. Return for a touchdown. 85 yards for Bryce Dobis. And it is just like that 48 0. Maybe he should have kicked it into the end zone and gotten the touchback. That makes the score 48 to 6. Bryce Dobis just found a seam, and with that kind of speed, he's off to the races. Wow, a little bit of everything tonight for the Frontier Redhawks as they are just piling it on. But that was great blocking, too, you know. You don't spring like that without a good bunch of people blocking for you. Matt Hildreth, number Hildreth seven. to kick it. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good. We'll come back up the field with the score. Frontier 49, half all six. Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. Well, the Hawks to boot it away. After Dobis, with the 85-yard kickoff return and the one-point kick by Hildreth, and a quick squib kick, dies it out the 20, and about a two-yard return by Bolio, and that is where Athol will I have take the over. Name here for the Frontier Cheerleader raffle. They thank you for your support. The winner is. Don Day. Don Day, the winner of the Frontier Cheerleader Raffle. The ball will be spotted at the 26 of Athol with less than four minutes to go in this one. Athol first and 10. But this has been uh, quite a night yard line. for the Athol Red Raiders. Quite a night for the Frontier Red Hawks. Well, a very tough night for the Athol Red Raiders. Five, five. Fumbles, four turnovers, all of which turn into touchdowns. And for Stephen Wordley, he makes the 1,000-yard club with four touchdowns. Bryce Dobis has two rushing touchdowns and one 85-yard kickoff return for the score. Down the right sidelines. And who is that? All the way down the right sideline. And a touchdown saving tackle. Castine on a carry. That was Castine, and he has just uh, beefed up his stat sheet tackle. quite a bit. Very good for a Red Raider first down into Frontier. Very nearly yard. broke it from the 26, and we'll see where they spot the ball. And the timeout and Frontier. The Red Hawks. They're going to spot the ball at the 18 of Frontier. We'll take a break. Come back. Frontier firmly in front, 49-6. This is Red Hawk Football at Frontier Community Access Television. 
that casting was, was good for 58 yards. And it sets FL up first and 10 on the 16 the first of Frontier. Split back formation. Inside give. And Castine on Castine again with the run. Gain of four, second and six. Second and six from the 12. Trying to get second and seven, actually. Inside give again. Four, Robbie Nelson on the carry. Nelson. It's going to bring up third and three. Good for three yards. Ball spotted just outside the 10 yard line of Frontier. About the 11. Side quarterback keeper Barrio is in for the touchdown. So Barrio with a fee. 11 yard touchdown run. That makes the score 49 to 12. Two point conversion. Two-point conversion upcoming with 2.15 to go in the game. Quick pass over the middle is good for the two-point conversion. Pass, Barrios pass complete to number 85, Joey Latamaki for the two-point conversion. 2.15 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Red Hawks 49. 49-14 as we come back up the field in favor of Frontier with two minutes to go. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. So right now, he, oh, quick kick, an onside kick, and I think Athol may recover this. Well executed. Recovered by the Red Raiders. Onside kick recovered by Athol. First and 10 Athol at the frontier. I don't yards. think that the Frontier Red Hawks are ready for that, but be that as it may, Athol's got the ball in Frontier territory. First and 10 from the 47. Derek O'Reilly on the carry. Dylan Appinell on the stop for the Red Hawks. Gain of five, second and five. Ball spotted at the 42. Hand off on the left side. And that's Castine again. Castine on a carry. Jacob Bryan on the stop for Frontier. Very good for a first down. Very good for a Red Raider first down. So suddenly the first and ten Red ball. Raiders have come alive here. The Frontier 28 yard line. This is pretty much academic at this point, but they're certainly doing their best to take some of the stink off of that uh, big lead. Inside give again goes to Castine. Derek O'Reilly in the carry. Jack Martin on a stop for Frontier. That was good for about six yards. Second and four. Second and four from the 24. Less than a minute to go, 45 seconds to be exact. 
can't make to punch one more in. Fumble on the play. Fumble on the play. Mason Berrio. That's the sixth fumble of the game. That one they kept though. Third and five for. That'll bring it third and the five. At the 25 yard line. I think they're probably gonna let this run down. Will they get another playoff? Does not look like it. The final score from the Frontier Regional School, the Red Hawks, 49. Timeout called by the Red Raiders. Wait a second. Hold on. He may not be done yet. Four seconds left. The timeout would avoid the penalty. But we are four seconds away from this one being over. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy uh, ending here. Oh, they're going to try a field goal. Solanus. 42 yard field goal. Solanus. Kick is up. And good. <laughs> 42 yard field goal for Solanus. 49. 17. 17. <laughs> 49 17. So, uh, kind of a crazy way to end it, but the Frontier Red Hawks guarantee themselves a share in probably the outright Intercounty League North Championship for with a 49 17 win. win. There will be a home playoff next game here Friday next Friday night. Stephen Worley joins the 1,000 yard club. Four rushing touchdowns. Bryce Dobis, two rushing touchdowns and an 85 yard kickoff return touchdown. And Athol was able to punch in a couple of touchdowns and ended it with a Salinas 42 yard field goal. And that will do it for our coverage. I want to thank our underwriters, Leader Home Centers, your hometown's home center with five locations to serve you. Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, Mass, Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future, insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. And attorney Daniel Graves, in addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Thanks to Alec Echo and Sam Finch up in the booth. I'm Chris Collins with the final score for the final time. Frontier wins the IL North. They beat the Athol Red Raiders by a count of 49-17. to 17. So long from South Deerfield.